Welcome to episode 6 of the Windows to Apple's Video News. Today we review and demonstrate Uvu. Well, it's spelled O-O-V-O-O. -O -O. You take your own shot at it. A relatively new competitor in the video audio chat marketplace. We suspect Skype is the most popular and most used audio video conferencing application available to both Macintosh and Windows users. Skype was purchased by eBay for a hefty chunk of cash, and eBay is apparently struggling to create a viable revenue model for the free Skype services. Skype offers consistently good audio as well as video communications across most platforms, including Linux. Unfortunately, Skype is currently limited to one-on-one -on -one combined audio-video chat sessions. Additionally, there is no Skype-approved application that allows real-time recording of combined audio-video calls. Various add-on applications do allow for recording voice conversations, making it very popular with podcasters. Skype appears to be the application of choice when recording podcast interviews or roundtable discussions. Uvu allows for audio-video conversations with up to six participants to be recorded and saved as Flash or AVI files. Uvu offers clients for Windows as well as Macintosh platforms. However, extended recording times and enhanced storage of video files is reserved for those using the Windows application. Uvu charges $10 a month for the privilege of recording lengthy conference calls with two or more Uvu users. For an additional $5, you can also use the Windows Uvu client to place PC to telephone calls. The Uvu user interface is particularly attractive and video quality is generally good. However, audio fidelity seems to have been sacrificed for enhanced video functionality. We have noted two problems with the current version of the Uvu chat program that are of major concern to us and may limit our continued use of the application to produce podcasts. Our first concern is with the company's inability to maintain a valid security certificate. Shortly after committing to a $10 subscription, we were greeted by a warning not to view our account information or requests for support because the security certificate was not valid or had been revoked. This warning message appeared regardless of whether we were using Windows Explorer 7, Opera, or Safari. Shortly after our initial complaint to the Uvu staff, the problem was temporarily resolved. But the issue has resurfaced recently when trying to access support from within the Uvu Windows client. Our second issue is that advertisements appear on the front panel of the Windows application even when using a paid subscription. Similar products such as PalTalk kill advertising for customers purchasing subscriptions. We know Uvu needs to create a commercial model that will generate enough income to make the service profitable. However, foisting advertisements on paying customers is not the way to create a loyal customer base. Assuming Uvu is able to resolve the certificate issue, it shows promise as becoming a tool for podcasters, particularly those wanting to produce video podcast interviews or discussion groups. Allison Sheridan of the Nocilla cast has offered to spend a few moments with us demonstrating the potential of using Uvu to create an audio-video podcast. Today, we have a special guest who's agreed to allow us to quote from her blog and podcast, as well as make guest appearances on the Windows to Apple's Video News podcast. It's my pleasure to introduce Allison Sheridan of the Nocilla cast. Allison is a veteran podcaster with three years of experience hosting the Nocilla cast, billed as a technology geek podcast with an ever so slight Macintosh bias. Allison. Thank you for taking the time to introduce yourself to our audience. Well, thanks, Sam. I'm really glad to be here. You do the most interesting things with your podcast. It's kind of exciting to be part of something that's so cutting edge like this. You're unbiased siding, sliding between Windows and Apples, calling them both out where they're underachieving is refreshing, and that's what may, makes Windows to Apples a more compelling show than a typical Mac fanboy show. Allison's appearance is made possible through the magic of Uvu, chat service, 
Our Windows to Apple's Ubu client is running on a Vista-enabled PC and is enabled with the optional Super Upgrade option, allowing iNet Sync to record up to six simultaneous audio-video conversations. Allison is appearing using the Beta Mac Ubu client. We have been a fan of the Nocilla podcast for some time now and encourage our audience to visit Allison's website at podfeet.com. That's P-O-D-F-E-E-T dot com. Allison, I believe you just celebrated your three-year anniversary of the Nocilla cast. Yeah, we celebrated our third anniversary on show number 152, which was posted on May 18th of this year. A number of our listeners joined in for the festivities, uh, offering heartfelt and sometimes funny stories that inspired me to continue doing the show as long as my listeners continue to subscribe. i got to tell you, I just love doing the show, mostly because of the feedback I get from the audience. I tell people the reason to do a podcast uh, and to have a blog is because of how much you'll learn, not because of how much you can teach. You start by thinking you're the one who's doing the teaching. I even love it when they write to me to tell me I'm all wet about something. I love learning the new tools, digging in to separate the great ones from the merely good, and tossing out the awful ones. The show has even given me satisfaction in life I never saw coming. I've made so many virtual friends in the virtual world all over the globe, including you, and that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy aside. Allison, your dedication to excellence and genuine desire to share information with others, as well as help fellow podcasters, has been an inspiration to us. And we applaud your continued commitment to producing a technology geek podcast with an ever so slight Macintosh bias. Well, thanks for your kind words, Sam, and for re- remaining a faithful subscriber to the No Silicast. I'm really happy to be part of this groundbreaking video podcast, and I'm looking forward to watching its evolution. Thank you, Allison, for taking the time to introduce yourself and your kind comments and encouragements to continue with the Video News Podcast Series. We look forward to future episodes of NoSillaCast and working with you to ensure Windows to Apple's Video News provides a balanced perspective. Thank you for downloading and watching. Remember, change is forever with us, and tomorrow, a new adventure.